And he said, although what they're doing is all not sin, but it's not for you. You have been chosen to be an example of Yeshua's walk when he was the word and dwelt among us. He's empowered you and dwelled you with the dutiful power of the Holy Spirit that shall lead you and guide you in all truth. There's going to be some paths that look good. But the tree looked good too. Yeah. Oh. Come on. But the tree looked good too. You are an influencer. Yes. You are an influencer. He said that influence that he's given you, that anointing, because it's an anointing. Hallelujah. It's an anointing. For righteous, for righteousness, says the Lord. For righteousness, not rightness, but for righteousness, because righteousness prevails. Amen. Righteousness prevails. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I argued with the Lord. The first thing that I heard, I was like, Lord, I am not getting up and saying that. I heard, dun 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 dun. And I said, the Adams family. He said, I said, I did. And I, I was. I, did you argue that all the time? Shut up. So I was like, God, that could be offensive. And, and, uh, and then Christy said, Eve. And, and God said, no, Adam went and Eve were the first family. And he said, he's created you to be the first in so many things in life that he has already pre-planned, predestined for you. Don't settle for second. 
because you're a first. too ready to go. Because <laughs> all I kept hearing was five golden rings. <laughs> and I was like, okay, that's fine. Well, what else? <laughs> and all I kept seeing is just five. Five is the number of grace. And he was like, five is the golden number for you. And I was like, well, what, what is that? Okay, where do you pertain to? And he was like, one, grace is not for yours, for you to keep pass it along, yes. but also give yourself grace for the lessons that you learned, that you can't get over. Um, and then another thing that he's put on my heart was friends, friendship. They're coming. They're coming, and they will be graced for what you're called to do. They are coming. Amen. 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 an interesting word. Earth shaker. Ooh, yes. And I believe what the Lord is saying to that is that if you are not shaking, everything else will. That's true. When you, when you were... <laughs> right. right. See, when you're so grounded in truth, you can't be shaken by any things that are not lining up with truth. And you're an earth shaker, so you're going to be grounded in truth, and everything else is going to shake around you. Amen. I was wrestling as well. Now I know why I had, now I know why I had to come, because I wasn't going to come. Uh, Evelyn, right? Am I going to be You're Evelyn, right? Okay, I want to be sure, because sometimes I'm horrible with names, but um, just... I have a question. Have you ever had times throughout your life, or at least throughout your high school days, where you were trying to do something, but yet it seemed like like there was a hedge around you? Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and it happens a lot, doesn't it? Because as listening to you, I was thinking, oh my God, that, that was me. That was me growing up, you know. I wanted to do what all my friends were doing. I wanted to go. And sometimes he let me, much to my the consequence I had to suffer. But one night in particular, I was clubbing, you know, sitting at a table with a friend of mine, right? Oh, I'm just, 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 just bear with me. Bear with me. Um, but sitting there. Not one single man came to my table and asked me to dance. Not one. They were all around me. They were dancing with other friends of mine. But not one man came to ask me to dance. And I was hurt, you know. But much later on, the Holy Spirit brought that back to mind and told me, he said, there were two angels standing on either side of me. Because that wasn't where I was supposed to be. And that wasn't the life he wanted me to lead. Amen. So you too. All those times, and you're standing there thinking, how come nobody sees? How come I can't go do what they do? It's because he's got those two guarding yes. you. Yes. Because he has something special for you to do. Yeah. Yeah. There's a reason you're outspoken. There's a reason you, uh, you don't take no bull off nobody. I, I, I felt that immediately. Yeah. You, you see the bull when it comes at you, and you don't mind letting people know. Yeah. But that boy, he's going to use that bonus. Yes. He's going right. to use that bonus yes. in you. Yes. Because you're going to call it exactly yes. like it is. I can relate. I don't like no whole lot of bull. I don't like a whole lot of phony, fake people. Yes. So, I mean, he will temper that, though. Yes. But he wants you to know that's why you can't just go everywhere. Yes. I had to take a whole lot of lumps to finally recognize that. But he was like, I was there. I was there with you the whole time. So I couldn't go this way and watch them. If you saw them do that, they were having fun. But it wasn't for you. It wasn't for you. So trust that instinct. 
I didn't always trust it when I was growing up, but you have it early. And you got it praying, Grandma, Grandpa. <laughs> so trust that instinct, okay? Because it's not for you. He's had, he has a wonderful path for you. And trust, just trust him, okay? All right, amen. Thank you. Amen. So when you came up, the first part of her was royalty. You are royalty. When there's royalty, there's a standard above. There's a standard inside of you that you know how to walk. So I like to say, you're not a follower, you're a leader. God has called you to lead. And you are an earth shaker. Because when you get around people, you're in the of having to do what it is you want them to do. But you know what? The buffer that God has on his side of you, to come into a place, God says, he's going to establish in you such a wealth and a richness that even your family won't even believe. What you thought was going to always be, God said, no, it's not going to be that way. You're going to be the foundation that he catapults and changes the DNA of your family to what he's called you to be. And yet, like you say, sometimes you think about, how come I don't ever have enough money? How come I, that won't even be a problem anymore? You have such wealth that you don't even know what to do with it, but you'll know how to honor God with it. He's called you to royalty, and with that royalty, there's a responsibility. But you're smart. You already know. There's some things you already know. Keep listening to what the voice is saying to you inside you, and it'll lead you to a safe place. It'll lead you to a place of grace, and God's angels will always be around you. And you gotta believe, you got a grandma and grandpa who know how to pray. So, you know, God will wake up and I go, ever let I go, yes, sir, and I'm on my knees. But you know what? We love you. We love you just who you are, not what you do, just who you are. Your father loves you the same way. He just said, I just want to talk. Let's talk. I love you. God bless you. Okay, does anyone else have anything ever, Evelyn, before I let her speak? Yeah, um, honestly, uh, like when I came in, I feel like I'm a very intuitive person. Um, I'm very self aware. So I just need to say that first. Um, so like when I came in, I was like kind of like the whole way here. I drove by myself, obviously, and I was like, I, I was, I was in the car. I always do that. I was like literally like vibing hard. Like I was just like, did it look good? Like in my own world. And then I got here, and like the whole time I was just thinking like, um, it's, it was kind of in the back of my mind. Like I kind of know when like something's gonna happen. And I wasn't like thinking like, oh, I'm gonna come in. Like there's gonna be an earthquake or something or like a tornado. But like I, I knew something was gonna happen. And then when my grandma asked me if I wanted to stay, I was like, I kind of have stuff to do, but I can stay for as long as I can. And then when you guys have me up here, like, I feel like God wanted me to be here and like God wanted y'all to talk to me, honestly. Like I felt like it was in the path. And I appreciate everything y'all said to me because it did hit home very hard. I was crying. So, so I cried a lot. But it meant a lot to me. Like everything you guys said, like really hit. It, it meant a lot. So thank you. Thank you.